Now the Starks don't trust this guy. They don't know him from a ham sandwich. What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. I hope everything finds you well. Today, we're going to be opening up a couple things. Got Iron Man 2020. We also got a mystery package coming out. I'm joined, of course, as always, by my faithful companion, Sir Patrick Swayze. All right, guys. What do we know about Arno Stark, Iron Man 2020? Well, check out his box art while I explain to you the uh, traumatic history of one Arno Stark. Let me take you guys back to last year in Endgame, where I, where a adult Tony Stark goes back in time to meet Howard Stark. When uh, Maria Stark is uh, pregnant with him. Um, dope. We got the flame firing effect that we've been seeing a lot lately. So Maria and Howard Stark have been trying for a very long time to have a baby, and they can't. Uh, out of nowhere, this uh, almost sentient being, almost like AI, uh, called Recorder 451. Comes with the two fisted hands. So Recorder 451 comes up to Maria and Howard Stark and tells them, I can get you a baby. Yeah, I know how. Um, but... That baby will have a genetic modification to it. Are you down? Yes or no? And he, he tells the Starks to uh, to choose. Now, the Starks don't trust this guy. They don't know him from a ham sandwich. So they uh, he can read mine, so they have to write each other notes and things. It's kind of, it's, yeah. So this recorder guy, he comes through, and lo and behold, they get a bouncing boy. Now, here's the catch. That genetic modification, he's got no use of his uh, limbs. His, mu his, his muscle tone is down to zero. Uh, and he's going to be uh, pretty much an invalid. He's, he's, uh, he can't move. He can't anything. So the Starks uh, quietly put him into almost like a hospice-style private hospital. Uh, the leg joint is really, really stiff on this. So you guys be careful. You might want to warm it up before uh, the, the blow dryer effect. And then also for the open hands, the uh, blaster hands, there is no hinge. So don't try and uh, force it because you may snap your hand. So what the Starks do is they adopt a child in secret and raise this child public publicly as their own. Here's where the, here's where the twist comes in. This, uh, this child that they adopted is none other than one Tony Stark. So he's secretly their adopted child yeah, I know. Blow, mind blown. Tony Stark, not uh, not the uh, not a member of the Starks. Recorder four five one. His uh, big his big thing was he needed someone to pilot the uh, God Killer armor for Iron Man for the Iron Man suit. If you guys are unaware of that, the God Killer armor it's it's an armor that's designed to kill. Uh, sentient beings almost like godlike creatures in the marvel uh marvel universe so this recorder 451 needed a pilot for that suit and arnold's sole purpose in life was to be the pilot of the god killer suit it's tricky and convoluted but that's the storyline that they're giving us if you own the 75th anniversary Iron Man, this is an almost identical replica other than, you know, the obvious differences and the face scope. With the 75th anniversary, everyone's big gripe was that the bicep was on backwards, so it was like his tricep was on. Uh, it looks like they fixed it on this one and got it right. That looks that looks about right. I could be wrong, but, you know, leave a comment. It's, it's a good looking figure. I missed out on the 75th anniversary. I just said, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I kind of didn't really like the price point that they were a little higher. So I kept pushing it back, pushing it back. And then come Christmas time, like you couldn't find them anywhere. And now here I am. I'm, I'm at the dance without a partner. And then came along this guy. When they first previewed him at the uh, toy fair back in like January, February, 
uh i i thought he was more like a steampunk kind of kind of iron man or you know something i definitely alternate universe because they were calling him iron man 2020 uh it would be cool for me if he came with an alternate like a an arnold stark head sculpt and then another thing is these are not necessarily new to the uh to the iron mans you know you can you can always dress them up in that what is new are these and i'm interested in these because they are they're slowly coming out this looks a lot like the uh, cannonball for reference here we have them boxed in it's similar to that it's a translucent hard plastic oh, 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 pegs ain't working with me it's so purpose is to simulate like a blasting off effect and i'm curious about this one because the new war machine It's going to be coming out with a similar effect, but that one is going to be at a price point of $29.99. Now, I want to know, is it worth it? So ideally, it'd be something like this. He's sitting here blasting and then you get like these rocket effects. I know we saw the uh, Iron Monger have. They are cool effects. They slip out really easy. Uh, the pegs don't work all the way. Like it doesn't lock in. This will slide out too. So I mean, the, you're, you're gonna have to play around with it. And then, like I said, the uh, the blast effects don't have a hinge, or the the hand doesn't hinge. If you've got the 75th anniversary, maybe you sit this one out. I, I I could I could see that happening. If you don't, you know, this is a pickup. Another thing is if you're building a hall of armors and you just you just need bodies for your for your Iron Man collection. This is a good one to throw in. We've got the Star Boost armor coming out in just a little bit. And then I think there was also the Gamerverse that is coming out with the Abomination Wave. So you're gonna have uh, sheer bodies to add to this. Uh, another one that I might add, maybe about a month ago, uh, my, my buddy from, uh, from across the pond, Dan Hu, Dan Hoo Hoo Reviews, go check him out. Had this guy way before anybody. He lives on on uh, in the UK, as, as I said. They don't have Walgreens there. I'm not sure how he got it, but like I said, a month ago, he was uh, reviewing this one. So shout out to him. Go check him out. Welcome to the Wolfpack Iron Man Hall of Armors. As you can see, this is the very first figure that we've ever opened in an Iron Man. So prop your Arnold Stark in a flight stand and you can get some really cool flight effects on him, even some super cool punching motions. I'm really glad to get this guy open and maybe eventually one day we'll get to open up that first 10 years. And then that vintage Iron Man, he's from a wave. Uh, it's actually worth more right now in box than the rest of them. I got the rest of the wave and I got it for fairly cheap. And if you sit on it, these are all re-releases of figures, but yeah, these are expensive on their own. As a complete set, it's worth a pretty penny. And of course, we saw the first 10 years Hulk versus Hulkbuster when we did our toy hunt in the wild. So since I'm grown and I have a job, I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and spend 70 bucks on Hulk Hulkbuster the first 10 years. Got mine right here. This little beauty's coming home with me. Another guy that you should check out on Instagram is Jerry J. Wilson. I'll show you some of the fan art. He does a lot of this fan art here that you see for these Marvel Legends. That's that's cool. I like that background. And he does he does a lot of this stuff. So go go check him out. Jerry J. Wilson on the Instagram. You silly wolf packers. You thought I forgot about the package, didn't you? I went shopping on Mercari not too long ago because I am in the process of building the green go or the hobgoblin. I've got the head, the arms, and the right leg. What I don't want is Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi. Uh, bunny chick, whatever her real name is. And then the uh, the other Spider-Man, I'm, I'm not crazy about. If you're in a predicament like me, 
and you don't want to buy a figure, but you want its build a figure, its pertaining build a figure piece, you do something like this. You go find them at Mercari. Let's open this guy up and check out how good this is. Got the cape. I like the cape. It's got it's tattered, it's weathered, two toned, slots right in. I'm assuming you take the head off to slot them in. Then we've got his torso, pretty basic torso. Uh, maybe the Bucky Cap mold, I could be wrong. Uh, and then we've got this unmistakable sash and the ripped part of like the second alternate color of his suit. I like that belt buckle, it's really good detail. Shout out to Marvel Legends for cleaning that up. So that goes in just like that. Pop the head in with a little bit of effort. Looks pretty cool, looks seamless from the backside. And then I like the tattered, the frayed tips. It goes along with everything else. Let's attach his arms and see how the rest looks. So there we have it. And then we will attach the right leg. So the only thing we're missing now would be the left leg and the glider. The glider comes with the uh, bunny chick. Right leg goes in just like that. If you guys are having trouble getting the joints in, warm up the figure, warm up the accessories and they'll slot in a lot easier. As any good welder will tell you, you have to preheat your metal. Come Black Friday, I'm definitely gonna be looking for the other leg. As well as the glider that pertains to him, but we are, we're knocking on the door guys, we're right there. He's almost complete. Question of the day. This one comes from my good buddy, Don Thomas, the Time Lord. What is your favorite Patrick Swayze movie? I, on our live stream, uh, I was asked that question the other day and I told him it's, it'd be one and one A. I'm gonna go with Red Dawn, obviously, and then two would be Outsiders, cause j just cause of the sheer talent on the screen on the Outsiders. So Red Dawn and Outsiders. Leave a comment below what your favorite Patrick Swayze film is. That's gonna do it, guys. Um, the, if you're on the fence about this one, it's a Walgreens exclusive, so if you, you're, you're not gonna see it at your normal places, but if you see it, I, I would say grab it for the simple fact that it's got these things, and it's at $19.99, not $29.99, how they're gonna sell you the uh, War Machine. Super cool poses. Uh, now I'm wishing I did get the uh, the 75th anniversary. The, the one that I really want is the Cap 75th anniversary. I could do, do so so without the Thor, but if you want like the uh, Mount Rushmore of Marvel or Avengers, uh, it would definitely have to be the three that were released for the 75th anniversary and then throw in the two pack Hulk Wolverine, but just Hulk with the white shirt, you know, the green Hulk with the white shirt. And that would be your Mount Rushmore of Avengers. Super cool, posable. I really like this guy. I really like this guy. Um, yeah, that's leave a comment below. Drop us a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, share us with some friends. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Pretty cool blast effects. You can use those both ways. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Deuces. We will catch you on the next one.